So now it is late October, and even though it's still really hot outside today, rattlesnake calls are starting to really slow down. And the biggest question that we're gonna get from everybody is when are these things going to go away? When are they gonna go hibernate for the winter? And that is also right now. Rattlesnakes and other reptiles are making movements towards sites that they have chosen as their winter dens to hibernate or brumate. Those are both perfectly acceptable terms. And that also means that we need to change the criteria that we use to select release sites to enable the snake to survive and also avoid people. So the way that this goes is that throughout this time until about the third week of November, there's going to be those movements that are starting to taper off until then, almost regardless of what the temperatures are. By then, snakes should be where they're going to spend the winter. It doesn't mean that we're not gonna get calls or rattlesnakes can be encountered throughout the rest of the winter, but it does mean that if someone sees one there, it's been there sometimes for weeks or even months. So it's just a different situation. But yeah, don't worry if you don't like snakes, we get it, and right now is the time that they are actively going to bed, so we have to deal with that. Here's a couple situations that we're dealing with right now that have something to do with rattlesnakes going in for the winter. Things are definitely cooling off out here, but I just got a call from Marissa. There is a snake somewhere in Cave Creek, and I'm gonna go get it. So interestingly, even though the days are like perfect weather for snakes right now, like if I was a snake, these temperatures and everything are really good, they still wait for the most part in this time of year to move at night. So we'll spend the entire day not getting many calls at all, and then right at dark, like it just happened, we get a whole bunch of calls all at once for like an hour, and then it stops. So it's interesting, that happens every year, and I'm always surprised by it. Hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Good. All right. Oh, there he is. He is, yeah. He has <laughs> parked himself there and not moved. All right, yeah, he's... Very comfy. Yep. Every time I'm in your neighborhood, I'm looking at those big piles of rocks that they put over there for the erosion control. Yeah. Like that's where the snake's den. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, that's what they... Okay. So you're kind of like in the path or just kind of moving around. I don't think that anything is like wanting to den here, but I just want to make sure that he doesn't have like a girlfriend or something. What was he doing when you first saw him? Was he crawling or just sitting there? He was, he was crawling. Yeah? to go outside and luckily I didn't let her out. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And I noticed the snake and I didn't think it was a rattlesnake. I came out, I poked it, he rattled and I called you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that rattle is useful. <laughs> yeah, don't get it. I think he's probably just passing through from what I'm looking, what I'm seeing here, which is good. Pretty cut and dry. Now to find a place to put this snake. This is the trick because they are moving towards dens and this place is like right next to a big pile of rocks uh, that they put in for erosion control. And now it's a rattlesnake den. So all the houses in this area, every spring and every fall, just get tons of rattlesnakes here. This is one of those situations, do I release the snake super close? which I don't want to do. Um, <laughs> do I, if you put it somewhere else within its home range, then it's just on someone else's backyard. Can't do that. Or do we take it further away than we'd prefer? I mean, it sucks, but option three is the one that's gonna probably do best for the snake. Now the trick is to find a place that can work as either a suitable den or with still a couple of weeks left in the ingress period 
a spot that would lead to a den or one that would, would be forced to find. All right, here's the spot. This is a tree that is completely full of doves. Sorry, doves. We got something to do here. At the base of it, it's full of caves. And uh, we're going to put this in. Walking around for about a half hour or so. This thing is sick of being carried around in a bucket. So, as soon as she gets underneath this tree, we're good. There are so many places to hide in there. Make sure he goes in and not just out. Nope, uncle out. There's bad guys out here. Pick me. Predators out here. Go hide under the tree more. Where there's fewer predators. There you go. All right. I think we're good. This area is tricky. There's just not a lot of good habitat. Um, well, there is lots of good habitat, but what you could define as good habitat changes throughout the year. So a good winter habitat here is not super common. But I think that is a pretty good location for that animal to be. Find my car. <laughs> All right. That's it. See ya. Just got a call from somewhere in Cave Creek. It is too early for me to know what is happening. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it's a rattlesnake. Hopefully it is a fun one. We'll see. The destination is on your left. Hello. Uh, sure, I don't know if you'll find him though. I tried to keep oh. him from going underneath the platform. Oh. I was, you know, urging him like, no, don't go under there. That's the one place I can't watch you. Yeah. Um, well, that's probably where he might have been uh, actually well, wanting to spend the winter. So. There, okay. And I came running out to train the dog and uh -huh. nearly stepped on him and was stretched out here. Okay. Stuck here, but we've been doing some renovating. Sure. Is he under the shed or under the. Oh, well, that's easier then. Let's we'll see. Which one was it? This he one? came right under here. So he may have, with all the commotion, he may have. He may have. I don't know if I just lift this up and see. He's probably using the, I would say he's probably using the uh, the shed. Snake right here. Okay. Oop, I'm sorry. Right, don't want to. Anyway. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Let's see if he's under there. He is gone. All right. All right. Go look around and see if I can find him. Should be able to see. I can see pretty good through these cracks here. Yeah, not seeing any scales here. here he is. You got him? Okay. I'll come over there. Hang on. We're right here real fast. They're handy. But then I hear that if you take them somewhere, they will die. That's not true. So if you take them somewhere and don't know how to... So the problem is people just release them out. They just drive them out to the desert and just let them go in the desert. And they need really specific things. So depending on the time of year and the sex of the snake and, you know, the temperatures and all that, it makes a difference between it needs to go into a wash or a rock pile. That kind of thing. Tell me where you, you, you could you could you could bring it to me. I could also just give you information on like where I would take yeah, it. Yeah, you just tell me where to take yeah, it. Yeah, I'll give you GPS coordinates. That's easy. I'm just gonna look around real fast just to make sure, because this looks like a very compelling place to spend the winter. There we go. I think this is probably good. It's starting to fill up and nothing's coming out, so. Yeah, you're coming out. Oh, no problem. When I'm when I'm available, I will. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Brian, if, right? Yeah. yeah it's still something I enjoy, so. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. All right, well, thanks a lot. Thank you. See ya. Bye.
So I actually got a snake uh, the other day from a house just down the street from that one. So I'm just gonna bring this one straight over to where I released that snake uh, because it was a great place um, and it connects to that home range. So why not use it again? Actually would not be surprised to run into a rattlesnake out here while I am walking this over to this den. This upper end of the drainage is a great place to get a little sun and maybe a last meal before things really cool down, uh, which we have no sign of happening <laughs> yet. It is still getting over 100 degrees in the daytime here in late October. Check that out. That is a track from our Western Diamondback. Is he hunting out here somewhere? Did that happen last night? It is unlikely I'll be able to find it, but that is one way of telling where rattlesnakes are is by just paying attention to things like those tracks. Um, it can be challenging in Arizona though, because we don't really get a lot of rain here, you might have noticed, and I have no idea how old that track is. But it definitely says that a rattlesnake at one point or another crawled right through this area. So little things like that can be a good confirmation that we are selecting a good site. If other rattlesnakes think that this is a good place to be in October, then uh, the one that I'm about to release here will also probably think that this is a good place to be in October. Up and under there looks perfect. snake is going to do great here. So a thing that a lot of people don't expect about rattlesnake behavior is that they're not always looking for warmth. We do talk about that a lot in the summer, is that they're trying to escape the heat. But what about when it's not all that hot outside? Why would they still try to avoid heat? And the reason for that is because they still don't get a chance to drink in the winter any more than they necessarily do in the summer. And they're also so cold and don't really have the mobility that they might in the summer. So even if they know where there's a place to drink, it doesn't mean that they can get there and get to it. It's easy to dry out, it's easy to desiccate here. So rattlesnakes in the low desert will often choose north facing sites that are cooler than they would in other places that are gonna pick a spot on the south or that gets a lot of sun. So even in the winter, even when it's super cold outside, Water availability is the determining factor in whether or not a rattlesnake is going to pick a site, spend a winter or not. So what can you do to keep your yard from being selected by a rattlesnake as a den? Well, make it so it's not useful. If you have piles of rocks, if you have debris, if you have the old pavers around the side of the house that you never look at, if there's tunnels that go underneath your pool equipment, all those things can be useful to a rattlesnake. So just look for places where a snake might be able to get down under the ground, not be disturbed, not get too cold, not get too hot, and not get too dry. And that might be a spot that a snake might use. Also, limit access to places like underneath the house, under sheds, and very importantly, into the garage. Every year, rattlesnakes choose places like the inside of garages because, well, they're insulated and they're warmer than the outside. And I mean, to a snake, it's just a free cave. So why not use it? So just be very cautious, especially paying attention to the corners and along the walls. Just remember that even though it is winter, rattlesnakes can still be encountered any day of the year, a lot less likely, but it can still happen. 
And keep in mind that even if you're just hiking or doing normal outdoor things, it's still possible to run into them any day of the year here, just a lot less likely. It doesn't mean that they don't hibernate or that they're active to the same degree all year, but it's always a possibility, especially if you're doing construction or getting into some stuff that you haven't gotten into for a long time. You could unearth a rattlesnake and it could have an encounter. If you have questions about how to keep your property rattlesnake free during the winter, throw them in the comments and we'll get to them as soon as we can. And while it is of course sad for us that we're not going to be able to see rattlesnakes for a few months now, um, sleeping in does sound kind of nice. Or maybe, you know, watching a movie, doing some normal human things. Yeah, we'll try that out.